Hi guys, uh, I just thought I'd throw a little video together real quick on how to install these 3D printed clamps that I had designed. Um, I did receive some different material in the day, so I printed these out in PETG, which is a little bit more flexible than PLA, stronger and more heat resistant. Um, as is, they will work. They do have a fairly good clamping. So that, I, I believe they'd be fine just like that, but what I'm gonna do is I have this uh, roughly millimeter thick sticky back felt that I'm gonna put on on either side of the boom here. So let me do that real quick. So I'm gonna leave about a two millimeter gap between the motor mount and the boom. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I just want something to grip a little bit better provide some more resistance than a slick boom. And I'm not putting that on perfectly square, but that'll be fine. So basically then you just take the boom clamps and slide them on. These already have the bolt, the, the nuts in the back of them right now so slide them on to the dead stop into the motor mount and then one of the key things to uh, mounting this is to not tighten the top or the bottom completely you kind of want to do a little bit on both sides so that you can evenly compress it I haven't received my new bolts in yet so I'm using some that are a little too long but they'll work for this demonstration so what I would do is I would start in the middle and clamp it down a little, then move down to the bottom and do the same. And then I also, I just put my finger over top of the nut, that way it doesn't get pushed out when you're tightening it down. That's just so sad that this is something that we have to do on a, you know, such an expensive bird. I hope that uh, DJI decides to come out with a solution because there's no guarantee this is going to stop it from happening. But my belief is, you know, check your motor mounts before you fly. You may not have any sign of uh, failure, but if the surfaces weren't prepared properly, the epoxy will just let go at any time. So you're not always going to find the problem before you go up. But I think that these clamps will actually help support the boom in the uh, motor mount and maybe protect you from complete failure. Um, like I said, there's no guarantee that it still won't pull off, but I think it'll help. It'll definitely help the situation. So yeah, you just want to like start in the center, tighten a little bit. Do the same on the top. And then add a bolt down here at the end. And start slowly clamping it. You don't want to just clamp one side completely, then you're going to have too much of a gap and you're not going to uh, interact with that nut in the backslide squarely and you probably end up cross threading it or something so um, that's about it pretty simple you can see it closing up and then you don't want to over tighten it and I will add when I get the correct bolts in I will add a washer to this backside just to help with uh, not being pulled through if there was a failure but that's about it and like I said that that bat double stick felt you could probably use like a double sided tape if you wanted to I wouldn't go any more than like a millimeter thick and if you go a millimeter thick I wouldn't wrap it all the way around the boom because then you're gonna cause too much uh, interference and you know you could damage the clamp before you even get it installed so uh, good luck out there guys